Hi, yes, you are right. In this video, I also would like to show you another IC station small circuit kit. This item number is 12004 and it is a LM3914 blue LED bar display module 10 segments battery power indicator battery capacity indicating tester do it yourself kit so basically it is a voltage meter with a led bar let's see what is in the bag the first is the paper on the web page i can't find any schematic or connection diagram but here you can see it is a very easy, nearly the basic factory default application. Here are the 10 outputs of the IC. The current is limited in internally, so there are no resistors serially with the LEDs. And uh, this is the power. And since it measures its own power voltage, that's why the circuit is more easier than the usual applications. Here you can see one side of the board and the other side of the board. Very rarely some kits needs components on both sides and it means it is important in which order you solder them because if you solder this IC then you cannot solder the leads of this LED bar which leads are under the integrated circuit. Okay, let's let's see it. What is in the bag? It is only a few components. Two potentiometer. Be careful because one is five and one is fifty kilo ohms. So the the 503 is the 50 kilo ohms and the 502 is the 5 kilo ohms. Luckily the seller or who plugged it marked the side of the LED bar with a plus and a minus and it is also on the assembling diagram so be careful because if you saw there all the pins of this LED bar and then you saw there all the pins of this integrated circuit and if you uh, have done it wrong then it is very difficult to repair because you have to remove the integrated circuit to remove the LED bar and, and so on and there are two surface mounted resistors they are both the same value but we need only one be careful because very easy to lost this small size component so i show you the problem if you install the integrated circuit first like this then you cannot solder the pins of the led bar so very important to install the LED bar first then solder cut the leads and then you can install the IC onto that position but first of all of course start with the small surface mounted component then I suggest you this order surface mounted component LED bar button or maybe not no trim pots integrated circuit and then then the button before you bend the lead of this uh, trim pot. They are 
straight, straight here, so you can solder. It is straight here, and you can solder here the button, or here and here. Or how many buttons? No, only one side here, and then you can bend the trim pot. Okay, let's let's do it. It seems a fast project. On the other side, you can read how it is working, but unfortunately, it is in Chinese. But there are a lot of nice application, and you can translate it with your mobile, or for example. Or, and as I saw this, nearly the same is available in English on the IC Station web page. Okay, let's do it. Now the circuit is ready. Let's try it. The outer is the positive. If you press the button, you can see something. Now that is. Ah, now I can decrease. Okay, let's set 5 or 2, 5, for example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And try to set or try to see 10 volts. Now I shorted the switch to make the measurement easier. Okay, let's see what's happened now. No 5 volt is dark. Okay, let's set it to 10 volt. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, and below three it doesn't work. Okay, so you can set it to measure the voltage, for example, three. Okay, you can see it. So, here you can see 0 volt, no LEDs, 1 volt, nothing, 2 volt, nothing, 3 volt, 3 bar, 4 volt, 4 bar, 5 volt, 5 bar, 6 volt, 6 bar, 7 volt, 7 bar, 8 volt, 8 bar, 9 volt, 9 bar, 10 volt, 10 bar. Okay, now let's set it, for example, for 20 volts. This is the working range up to 20 volts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
20. Volt standbars. Ten volts, one, two, three, four, five bars. Four volts, two bar. Three volt, one bar. Five volt, two. Six volt, three. Seven, three. Eight volt, four. Nine is four. Ten is five. Eleven, five. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13, 14 is 7, no, that is the 14, where is the 14, 14, and 16 is 8, 17, 8, 18 is 9, bar, and 20. So, you can use it as a easy voltmeter, for example, indicating the charge level of a car battery or any other device. And if I switch it off, it nicely showed the decreasing voltage of the output. So I think that was enough about this small circuit. I hope you can find a useful place for such a circuit where you can apply it for measuring voltages. You can set it as you wish with the two trim port. I set it in this manner because it was easy to check it. In this case if I set one volt per bar or two volt per bar. I hope this video was useful because if you never build such a circuit maybe you try to assemble it in a wrong order and in that case it is not so easy to repair and finish it. You can buy it on icstation.com. Don't forget the discount code which is mentioned in the description and if you apply it you will get 15% discount. The web page is here, you can see it now and if you found this video useful please thumbs up with the like icon or you can also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.